Art Talk is proudly brought to you by BrandThomasArtSupply.com, home of the Brand Thomas Signature Product Line, and by the Brand Thomas Instructor Team. Go to www.BrandonThomasArt.com to find an instructor near you. Hey, it's me, it's me, it's Brand T here. You're listening to Art Talk. And today I want to welcome you to this new program uh, that I'm starting up here. I, I told people on our Facebook pages that I'm starting this newest program. And this program is a podcast slash art show. Uh, art talk show uh, that you can listen to and get great tips and some information. I'll have information about my art instructors when they have a workshop coming up. They'll have that in our, in our next uh, or, or whenever they have a workshop, we'll broadcast it here on Art Talk. This is going on our YouTube uh, channel. That way, more people can listen to this. Um, so uh, what I want to talk to you a little bit more about is. Uh, the upcoming season of Painting with Magic, uh, Painting with Magic Season 5. Uh, I've already done like, uh, like was about 41 shows right now, 41 full painting episodes uh, that you can watch and uh, get great information from. You can paint full, pro uh, full painting projects. Uh, so we're starting up this new season, Season 5 of Painting with Magic, which I'm excited about. I cannot wait to get started in producing this new, uh, this new season. Uh, Basically, I wanted to build a new uh, studio for this show, a new, new TV set. Uh, the first TV set that I had uh, was just a piece of black sheet, a piece of black uh, sheet cloth, some kind of cloth I got from my, um, a cloth, a fabric store here locally here in Lexington. And it had nothing else to hang it up to, so I had some uh, rafters, whatever, in my, you know, uh, studio. And so I took some duct tape, staples, whatever I could to get that black sheet to stick up there. I had a, a broken tripod. I duct taped a GoPro to. And that was season one. Uh, and uh, just to get some shows up. I made five shows uh, doing that. With a little duct tape stapled up sheet. And a duct taped GoPro to a broken tripod. Uh, and um, it was great. Uh, people loved the videos. They loved the, um, the show. And so I decided, let's go ahead, let's make this into a better production. I want to get into producing such a, an amazing art program. So we built a new studio uh, with a nice, uh, and I wanted a barn type feel to it. Uh, so that's what we did. We built some kind of like a barn type scene. Uh, we hung up some, you know, old uh, working tools. You know, it's like a, a, like a screwdriver type thing and then a, uh, some old rusted up saws and stuff so uh, I thought I really loved that set really loved that studio and then that, well, that lasted since like season 2 to 4 season 2 to season 4 or something like that it lasted uh, but there was a break in season 4 where I used a black uh, sheet again uh, that sheet was actually just going to be for a product uh, commercial that we shot uh, for the new brush line that I created uh, for the market and we decided to leave it up there until you know uh, you know for season five as well we was going to you know keep it up there but you know after season four came uh, and was gone I really wanted the show to become even better uh, I wanted to produce something that was um, even better quality so I said let's go ahead let's build a new studio set a brand new set I want a log cabin type feel, want something kind of homey, something warm and, and a little fuzzy type deal. Something that people will watch and they'll feel more relaxed with. Uh, a nice uh, relaxing feel. And that's what I love about log cabins and I love about uh, the new TV set is that it has that, that feel that I want. It kind of matches and harmonizes with what I like and what I uh, uh, relaxes me. So uh, the new shows, actually, I have a new easel that just came in from Richardson Art. Richardson Art, I believe it is. Is that right? Yeah, RichardsonArt.com. They sent me uh, one of their best uh, easels. It was a Dulce easel, the oak easel. It's a beautiful easel. This thing is beautiful. Um, really well-built easel. 
I uh, believe it's really the best uh, easel that I have uh, seen. It's great quality, sturdy, really sturdy, especially for our technique and our style. I really didn't think it was going to be that sturdy because it's a simple ace frame easel design. You can look it up online, the, uh, the Richardson Best Dulce Easel. And that thing is sturdy. It really is nice. It's sturdy. It's beautiful. It's made of oak. I just I love that. Love that look of it. And so that will be the new uh, easel in the new TV studio. I think it's going to really look good in the new studio. I haven't even uh, put it up there yet, uh, but I have it all set up and it looks really good. Um, the uh, uh, so we got that in. I think Richardson Art for sending that to us. It's going to look really nice in the studio. They're really nice and well built. Uh, Grumbacher actually sent us some uh, paint for the show for season uh, five, like they did for season four. I love Grumbacher's paint. The pre-tested paint is just the best paint I've used. Uh, it just has so much pigment. It has the nice, rich, smooth, uh, buttery type feel, but not too oily. It's just perfect for what I like. I like to be able to uh, blend paint and uh, with my palette knife and a too oily of a paint you really can't do that you just mix mud and too thick of a paint too dry of a paint uh, is not gonna allow you to blend with the palette knife you have to add oil to it and so uh, I love groundwalker paint cause it's just the perfect paint for my style I love it you can find it almost at any art supply store as well uh, another thing is, if you want to use the paint, uh, the paint brushes and some of the supplies that I use on the show, you can go and get those at BrandonThomasArtSupply.com, uh, where you can purchase that directly from me. Uh, I got brushes, mediums on there, some accessories, uh, some uh, some great stuff on there, uh, and you can get some great supplies uh, before the season five starts off. You can go ahead and replace your brushes and get them ready to go. Uh, you can pick up you some uh, new tools. And we actually have really great shipping right now. Uh, it's right now it's four ninety five flat rate shipping at four dollars ninety five cents uh, in the United States uh, for orders up to forty nine ninety nine. And then orders fifty bucks and more, it's free shipping. So it's a great time to get some supplies while our shipping is so low. We hope to keep that shipping as long as possible for that rate. But like I said, get it while it lasts on that great shipping. Um, low low grade shipping prices so I want to get into uh, what our talk is more about uh, our talk like I said it's about tips uh, it's about answering your question that you may have uh, you might be struggling with something send us in the question on our Facebook page we have a Facebook page set up for art talk so you just look up art talk you should be able to find it there will be a link in the description of this uh, video here that you're going to watch or listen to there will be a link to that in the description. Uh, so you can go in there and answer questions. And also we'll have a website uh, link uh, set up on... We'll have a, we'll have a page set up on brandthomasart.com that you can also a uh, ask us questions at as well. So if you don't have a Facebook page or a Facebook account, you will still be able to ask us questions. You can even comment in the sections below. So let's get into our first tip. And I want to take a tip that we used on uh, the website on our blog to kind of get us started here. We'll go off one of those. So uh, in today's tip of the day I want to go over creating simple ocean foam. Uh, ocean foam is something that a lot of uh, beginner students, uh, intermediate and heck even some advanced artists struggle with foam. Uh, foam is very tricky because you gotta really be able to uh, use your brush strokes. Uh, so I want to talk about easiest way to create some foam. Some great looking foam. I actually have a clip that will be in the description below of me uh, showing you how to paint some simple foam as well. Um, so I started studying foam patterns whenever I would go on vacation to uh, different places like uh, Myrtle Beach. I would go there every year and I would study it and to me it kind of had like a three, a number three type shape to it. So I started to make my foam kind of similar to the number three. Uh, and then I would start making like ovals into it, you know, kind of connecting them and things like that and that kind of got me going. Uh, but then I wanted to create, you know, more of a blended in foam, you know, because you create something with a line of brush, it's very um, in your face because it's very uh, um, uh, there, you know what I'm saying? Because liner brushes, you know, you create something with liner brush, you have to thin the paint down so it's really right in your face. So I started using my filbert brush and my fan brushes and I started kind of, you know, doing that rocky motion, but kind of following the, the shape of my wave. Whatever direction my wave was shape was, that's how I followed it with the filbert or the fan brush. And 
started creating some nice foam that I could actually, if I want to enhance it, I could go back over with a liner brush, enhance some areas, uh, and it's a great way to do that. But I would make my mixer with 50% like titanium white and amazing white to kind of thin it down a little bit sometimes uh, to get it to where it would go on smoothly. Uh, then I would create a little bit of a, a roll of on the edge of the brush by just you know loading my brush up like I would the chiseled edge. Then I would give it a little bit of a push. The way it would create a little bit of a roll of paint, a little bit of a lip of paint on the edge of the brush, and then I would use that to create my uh, foam patterns. Uh, I think that will be a uh, a great way for you to start out if you're struggling with foam patterns. Try out using uh, your filbert brush, your fan brush, and, and do some rocky motions. Uh, you can even do like the number three type shape, um, and I believe it'll help you all out a lot. You want to make little pockets and stuff like that, but I'll have a video link in the description to the little clip that I'm talking about, because uh, this this little tip is coming from our blog that I have, uh, or sometimes I will write on the blog uh, and post tips and things like that, but I think this show is going to take over the blog show. Because I really want uh, something that people can listen to. I think more people like to listen to stuff more than read it. So I think this is going to be a great way to do that. I can also get more information out by doing it this way faster than on the Painting with Magic show. Uh, another question I get is someone asks me, why do I advertise so much on the shows? Why do I advertise my brushes and things like that so much on the program? Well, the reason I do that for is because I get a lot of questions about what products do I use? You know, what, what products uh, are you using in this video? So, I'll tell them, you know, I'm using my signature brush line. You know, I'm using maybe Grumbacher paint. You know, my amazing white medium. Uh, you know, whatever I'm using, I'll tell them where they can buy it at as well. And also, it helps out the shows. Uh, because these programs, we don't make nothing for it. You know, I started putting ads on the videos. Just so we might be able to get something back so I can start, you know, putting more into the production of the shows. Because I just bought a new tripod system. Uh, this new microphone that I'm speaking in right now to um, make these shows better. Uh, make more uh, inter uh, entertainment, more information for you guys. So that's why I do that for you know it's not me trying to you know um, just rack up on as much dollars as possible. I do it because I get questions on what supplies I'm using, and also it helps me fund these programs. Uh, the way that I can make more painting shows for you guys, I can make them better quality for you guys uh, and gals, and I can make it uh, better and better each time we, we go out and buy a new piece of equipment um so that's why I do that for also if you are looking at taking classes I have art instructors you can go to my website at brennathomasart.com and click on find an art instructor and you'll be able to find one probably close to your area we're building up the team uh, if you're interested in becoming an art instructor with us uh, you can go on there and click uh, become an art instructor at brandonthomasart.com. I would love to have you on the team. Uh, a lot of people ask us about the different programs, and we have three different programs. We have the associate instructor, the certified instructor, and the master instructor, and all three of those are different programs. The cheapest uh, to get you started with will be associate instructor. That program is $150, and you will get a brush set. You will get a, uh, a book, but you also get discounts on supplies. You get to use my projects. You get the support of Brand Thomas Art and me, uh, the whole team here, um, and we try to help you as much as possible to advertise and get you your classes and stuff going. Uh, and we would love to work with you. So if you're interested in becoming our instructor, uh, you can click on any of those uh, programs. Anybody is eligible for any of the programs, unless uh, on the website it states that you cannot join it. Uh, there's there's certain um, rules that we go by on not accepting people into the program but for the most part anybody can uh, join those programs you know you have to be experienced a little bit of experienced artist to be able to join the programs uh, because we want you know some great people to be able to teach our workshops so if you're a, uh, a, a painter and you want to become an art instructor and you've been painting for a little while uh, send us in some photographs at brandthomasart at aol.com uh, and if we approve you, you can join any of the programs, you know, with Brent Thomas Art, uh, Certified Instructors Program, the Master Instructor Program, or the Associate Program. I stated in a video uh, a while back that Associate Program was only for instructors. That's already art instructors with another company, and only they can join it. But I've changed that to where if you're an experienced artist, 
and you don't want to pay a, a more premium fee to get trained and you already know what you're doing you can join that program so if your art is good I send it into us and you can probably join the associate instructor program a unique thing about my programs are they're upgradable so if you become an associate instructor and you want to become a certified instructor you will get hundred and fifty dollars taken off your instructor program uh, that's already paid to go into the certified instructor program so you'll be able to get training for a, a half price almost and you'll be you will get this additional supplies that you didn't already have so you'll get like an easel uh, levers on uh, some mediums you'll get in that program or you can upgrade to the master instructor so there's uh, those have changed a little bit uh, but they're still the great same programs that they were when I first made that video so if you're interested in becoming our instructor I would love to have you on my team if you're interested in taking art classes I have a workshop coming up in August 27th uh, here in Lexington Kentucky the advanced seascape workshop uh, that I'm doing uh, or if you're not near Lexington, Kentucky or in the Kentucky area you can go to find an art instructor and find one of my art instructors uh, near you in uh, some of the sites they're in right now so I hope y'all enjoyed this first broadcast of Art Talk I plan on doing many more of these I plan on asking some questions and answering your questions right here so until next time we'll see you soon